the day the Campus O Explorers, yeah. which are all the families at the back morning. there. Good morning. And we're out on the road. We're going down to a, a place called Aquilis, big town. Got a couple of places we're going to go to, but that's all part of the exploring. Hope you enjoy the vid, as always say. And uh, yeah, enjoy the journey. All those people that have been after the t-shirt, the bigger t-shirts I'm on about, the uh, triple X's. Now this lot, the new promotion I'm bringing out now, it goes up to 5X, so that's massive. For, and then I have a lot of people asking about a t-shirt. Now I bring on my model. Now unfortunately my model's not in a triple X, he's in a, a, a large, isn't it? This is just a large. This yeah. is a large, but this is yeah. what you can get, guys. Yeah. The X Pat and Mazaron subscriber t-shirt. Please support. And they wash up well as well. Yeah. Anyway, we're off now. <laughs> Obviously, there is the uh, is the tunnel, and it's got like shaft lights. But I don't understand what these towers are because these are made of wood, whereas the ones on this side are made of steel, which is looks pretty pretty new to me. But inside is wood, you know. Yeah, yeah. The interior. I mean, that's, that's cost money, isn't it? Just, just do that. Yep. This is a look at this walkway. This is going down towards the pier now. <laughs> so today the campus old explorers are out again. We've got Femi just taking some photographs. We've got Arvi over there as well, setting up his drone. We're on at the pier at the moment down at Aquilis. Now this is Spain's only iron pier in the whole of Spain. It's also supposed to be the second largest pier in Spain. But looking at it from this position, it looks pretty small. But when we're over near the beach. It looks a lot bigger. Um, what I can say about this, it was built in 1903. It shut it down in uh, 1973. Now what it was designed to do, as we can see, the trains used to come down either side. I'll show you a bit in a minute. Either side, drop the iron ore into the carriages and then it would go out, probably out into a steamship at first and then obviously into a main ship out into the sea and probably supply most of the world with iron ore. So, I hope you're going to enjoy this journey of ours.
and we've got a, a map here which is pretty good because this side is in English and that side is in Spanish. It just gives you some idea of what's out there in the sea. Um, obviously we're on about the cove, we're on about the fishing out this way is where they actually breed fish. You've got big, sort of like big pools. I think it's sardines, might be wrong. Uh, and obviously it tells you what this place is, which I'm not even going to be able to pronounce, but yeah, pretty interesting. Just reading the about the tunnels there, it actually holds five, no, 50,000 tonnes of uh, iron ore. We're down on the beach now, I'll put up the name of the beach just there. We're on, on the beach here. Now just behind me is all this lovely mosaic. There used to be a restaurant there, but looking at it now, it's definitely shut up. But you can see the, the pier much more now, just the iron pier. Now there's an island just over there. I haven't got a clue what that island's about, but on the island, there are vast buildings, which is interesting. But yeah, what a view, eh? This is a lovely sandy beach. Now, this is coming the end of September now. So yeah, what a place to come to. So what an amazing place. There used to be a restaurant in front of us. I can just make out loss something. But these steps go right on up. All these um, lamp posts have got this decoration on it. So this is where we're finishing up. This is what I call the abandoned park. If you watch any of my abandoned series, you've seen this quite a few times really it comes up. It's called the Jesus Park. Now this is one section. Now this section, it does look like somebody's come here and started to tidy up, which is nice to see, because it is a lovely park. It just seems silly to let it go. But we're gonna go over to the other side soon, where it is completely abandoned, such a shame. And the reason why it's called the Jesus Park is it's named after a, a local businessman that obviously put a lot of money into it. But like all things, the upkeep of the park costs a lot, a lot of money. But what a shame, eh? Call the abandoned park, the Jesus Park, as they call it. It's a shame because it's a lot of, a lot of things have been damaged, got graffiti, some of the poles are leaning over, but that's the way it is here. Now, straight in front of you, you can probably see it right in the distance, is the castle from Aquilus. Guys, if you've got time to come down to Aquilus, this is an amazing town to come to. A lot goes on around there, but we're not doing that today, we're just finishing off here at the park. <laughs>
finds it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. Femi's first time out. What yeah. do you think of it? Hey, it's fantastic, man. You know, the experience is out of this world. So I never thought I could come here and see some beautiful mosaic, uh, deserted, uh, what do you call it, beach, or abandoned uh, park like this. It's just wonderful. Wonderful, uh, I love and it. What, what do you think of? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, you see what it's it's I think you said enough there, Femi. Yeah. Good old boy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, as we all say, guys, got to keep watching because if you don't, you miss something. Look out for the next Campus Hour Explorers expedition. Yay. That's it. The no. <laughs> so today, so the Spanish. No. <laughs> so today the camp. No. Yeah, because it's end of season. It's end of season. Now. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're at another part of the um, throughout the game now. So we're at the one second. Top man. Top man. Top man. Top man. Top man. Yeah. Top man. Just a little bit of steps. Yeah. Okay. Just carry me up there. No, no. No, it's all. It could be on the diet. Top man. Top man. Top man. That's never gonna happen.